Hey guys, I'm happy that you are here. My name is Beth Choi and I am your plant tito from Mindanao. Tara, samahan niyo ako sa aking plant journey. To those who are new to this channel, especially sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, please click on our subscribe button and click on the bell notification as well para maging updated kayo sa ating mga latest uploads. And also guys, please follow me on our other social media accounts. So that's aside from YouTube, we have a Facebook page and our page is Betchoy Vlog. And we also have an Instagram or IG account and our ID is Betchoy underscore vlog and let's talk about plants. So for our episode today, we will be propagating the latest addition in my Monstera family and this is our giant Monstera Thai constellation. So before we start with our propagation, let me give you a quick backstory first on how I got this Monstera Deliciosa Thai constellation. So I was actually talking to a plant collector friend of mine and we were just discussing some things about plants and then it came to a point that we discussed kami and we kami regarding one of his uh, Monstera Thai constellation and this is it. And while we were talking about this one, he was actually sharing with me na medyo nahihirapan na siyang i-manage itong ating Thai constellation kasi sobrang laki na nito and then umaapaw or lumalabas na ito sa ating pot. And true enough nga, dito guys, share lang natin and reflex lang natin later on siguro sa ating close-up videos yung mga ugat talaga ng ating Thai constellation. Nagsisilabasan na sila at nagiging unmanageable na sila. So, Nagpa-joke lang ako na sabi ko, Sir, bibilihin ko na lang yung Thai Constellation mo para magkaroon ako ng giant na Thai Cons kasi I still have a small Thai Cons in my collection. And then, out of the blue lang, nag-answer si Sir na, Yes, sige, bibenta ko na lang yan sa'yo. The very good price. So, I don't know, parang it started out as a joke but then naging katotohanan na siya guys. So, ito ngayon, I already have this one in my collection. And then, before we start propagating our Monstera Thai Constellation, let's have a closer look first with our Tycons. So currently, we have eight leaves here and then let's try to inspect first yung kanyang mga dahon. One of its few leaves na andito sa top portion. So ito guys, mature size na po yung ating Monstera Thai Constellation. Napakalaki na ng kanyang mga dahon and I estimate this to be around more than two feet na siguro yung kanyang sizes. And it already has some holes here dito sa gitna ng ating mga dahon. And take a look at this one. Ito yung kanyang pinakabagong dahon guys. And may napakagandang patch na variegation dito. So, ito talaga yung kinagandahan ng ating Thai constellation. It, it's a very stable na variegated plant. So, we can expect that all of its leaves magkakaroon talaga ng mga variegations. So, after inspecting yung mga leaves ng ating Monstera Thai constellation, let's now check on its node, yung kanyang stem, and then yung kanyang root system. So, ito guys, it's actually placed in a big pot here. Napakalaki ng ceramic pot na ito. And then, ito, Guys, umaapaw na talaga yung mga ugat ng ating Thai constellation. It's also the reason why nakapag-decide ako kaagad na ikatap na natin yung ating Thai constellation. After inspecting our Thai constellation na giant na guys, I have decided na ikakat ko siya dito sa portion na ito. So sa ating top cut, meron tayong four leaves here. And timing lang din kasi yung apat na dahon na andirito sa top portion natin guys, they are all perfect. Wala mga damage whatsoever. So after we cut this one, we will have two pots na of our Thai constellation na giant. One will be our mother plant and the other one will be our beautiful top cut. So before we start with our propagation of our Monstera Thai constellation, let us first prepare the materials that we will be needing. So first things first is our cutting knife and some candles also and yung ating pot na paglilipatan ng ating top cut. And also, later na rin din natin i-discuss yung ating soil mix na gagamitin for our propagation. So, guys, we will now start cutting our Monstera Thai Constellation. I'll be using a cutter here. Ito, very easy lang ito mag-cut natin, guys, kasi medyo matipis na yung blade ng ating cutter. So, from our identified portion dito na top portion, guys, so, we need to make sure na yung ikakat natin na area, it should be in between nodes. So, dapat wala talagang nodes na matamaan as we cut. And then also, we need to make sure na dapat yung ugat din is hindi madadamage as we cut the plant. So, let's just apply 
bit of pressure here. So, ayan. So, magsicircle ako ng partially dito. Till eventually, magkaroon tayo ng malaking cut na from our Thai constellation. So, ito. So, yun. We're almost halfway in cutting this one. And, let me check first the roots at the bottom. So, yeah. Hopefully, wala tayong matamaan dito. So, yan. Yeah, partially cut na natin ito into half. And, voila. Here is our top cut. The four leaves. Napakalaki na niya, guys. And our mother will have six more remaining leaves here. So, sa mga areas na nakat natin, guys, or yung may mga open wounds, it's very important na dapat ipadry muna natin sila ng saglit some few minutes before we drop some candle wax dito sa ating opening or sa mga woods. So, this is a way for us to ensure na hindi magkakaroon ng node rotting yung ating newly propagated mga plants, na mga plants because they are really very susceptible to that one guys so I this is one of the gardening hacks that I've just learned recently lang and I've been applying this in my propagations and the good thing naman with this one is that very successful din yung ating pag-apply ng ating gardening hack na ito so again we should not be worried kung masasaktan ba yung ating mga plants because technically speaking, wala naman talaga sila mga sensory perceptors so hindi sila nasasaktan per se siguro emotional attachment lang natin ng mga plant owners so we need to make sure din na dapat matuluan or makover natin yung lahat ng areas ng napagkatan dito sa ating node So after natin i-close or i-seal off yung wood ng ating top cut, we will also be doing the same thing for our mother plant. Again, to ensure na, na hindi siya magkakaroon ng node rotting and hindi din siya mabasa if ever naman na mabasa sila ng ulan or i-water natin sila. So at this point, we are ready to repot our newly propagated na Thai constellation. So tignan natin guys yung ugat ng ating Thai con. Sobrang ano na talaga, haba na talaga. So in this case na, Kung ganito na ang situation ng ating mga ugat, what I usually do is that I just wrap them around or parang sinicircle ko sila dito sa loob ng ating pot para mapagkasya natin silang lahat. And then, good thing lang is that medyo soft pa naman yung mga ugat dito. So, pwede pa talaga natin siyang ma-rotate or ma-circle dito. So, from here lang, let's try to reposition our plant. And now, we may now add in some soil dito sa ating Monstera, Thai constellation of propagation. Okay, so we've I've initially placed here some soil mix na sa ating uh, newly propagated na Monstera, Thai constellation. And by the way, for the soil mix of our Thai constellation, guys, or yung ating Monstera, I'm using here a soilless then a mix. So this is basically cocoa peat, some coconut husk, and some pumice also. And meron din akong ginamit dito na fertilizer or yung ating vermicast as our main pataba or fertilizer for our plant. So, just be adding in some soil here and make sure na dapat cover din yung mga ugat natin dito. And for this propagation naman, considering na super mature na talaga yung ating Thai constellation, we can expect na hindi din ito magkakaroon ng challenge or hindi siya masyadong mahihirapan sa pag-transition from a cutting to a stable plant kasi nga sobrang laki na talaga ng plant na ito and then yung roots niya Sobrang laki na rin nila. So, I, I believe na mabilis na din ito makakapag-adjust. Siguro, two months time, baka gagalaw na rin yung ating propagation. So, for my Monstera propagations and most of my Philodendron na mga propagations, I'm actually using a relatively small na pot to make sure na ano na sila, root-bound na sila kaagad. Hindi na sila mag-a-adjust or mag-produce ng some more roots kasi Ito, considering na mara, mara, marami na rin yung kanyang roots, ang ipupush ng ating Monstera Tycons is yung pag-produce ng panibagong dahon instead of like establishing more roots. So in this case, mas mapapabilis natin yung pag-produce ng mga panibagong dahon. And also, it's very important na i-take note natin na when preparing or using soil mix for our Tycons it's very important talaga na fast draining 
yung ating soil mix na gagamitin kasi mas mabilis sila mag-react to overwatering medyo sensitive talaga sila sa overwatering or medyo basang medium so that's why it's very important na dapat fast training yung gagamitin na na soil mix so that would be it guys that would be our episode today presenting our propagation for our Monstera Thai constellation and I hope na meron kayong mga natutunan and then also hopefully nag-enjoy din kayo sa ating episode today so before we end our video let us do our shout out shout out kay Doc AC Bokinia, shout out din kay Sir Louis Katane, shout out na rin kay Ma'am DT, shout out also kay Ma'am Jennifer Fabian, shout out na rin kay Ma'am Den Cruz, shout out also kay Ma'am Liza, shout out na rin kay Junisio Bernardo, shout out kay Ma'am Nancy Espada, and shout out to Steve. So guys, if you happen to like our videos, please don't forget to click on the like button. And then share it to your friends, to your families, to your loved ones. And if bago ka palang po sa ating channel, please do not forget to click on the subscribe button and click on the bell notification as well para maging updated kayo sa ating mga latest uploads. Once again, this is Betchoy, your plantito from Mindanao. Happy planting!